and we're back. And like I said, we just get the world map now, and yeah, just yeah, Tails just slowly works our way through it. It's pretty pretty simple. You just yeah, like it, it works like more or less sim like similar to the Wii version in the sense that you just hover over continent. Um, the thing that's different though is that you get to change the time of day um, before you move somewhere. So we can change to day and night, which is kind of nice. Um, but we don't actually want to go to Missouri yet, so... Wait. Okay, yeah, I know. Okay, now... Okay, ugh, fine. Oh, okay. We'll visit Missouri, and then we're going straight back out. <laughs> If it will let me. I don't remember if it will let me. Wow. We'll just stand here menacingly. <laughs> I love the, that robot. Sonic! Yo, Eggman! Thanks for that little skydiving adventure the other day. I should have known you'd still be alive, you stubborn little hedgehog. What are you doing out here? I see no reason to tell you. In any case, I'm busy. Farewell! Hey, wait! That's playing dirty. Come back. Let me at him. Let me at him. Just ignore him. Oh god. Is everyone here all right? I really love the look of this place in day, by the way. <laughs> just obviously it's based in Africa, and like just man, just love the sand and I like sand. Oh come on, really? You suck. <laughs> Fine. I guess we're gonna, um, what is it? I, I guess we're gonna just do the, the Missouri stuff now. So I guess what I'm gonna, what, what I'm gonna do is just cut back to the Wii version when we finish the stage. Because, um, what is it? it again, the Wii version just does the, uh, it, ju it has an actual guy gate area, so that's kind of cool. But, yeah, in terms of, like, stages, it just has the boss. So yeah, after- oh, what, what, what's going on there? Yeah! <laughs> good. <laughs> I enjoyed that. That was- that was good. Okay. Um... Okay, there's one more moon medal. There is. Cool. How are you guys doing? I mean, yeah, just a bunch of robots just suddenly attacking. <laughs> You're just <laughs> perpetually scared, okay. Who was this professor, professor Delicious? What? Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. 
can't go to, to the shop because the guy says no. Alright. God, it's kind of funny. I, I don't, I don't know why I keep bringing this game up, but um, it's kind of funny how, but it's, the amount, the, um, time we played this game, like, putting both versions into account, I we probably would have been in Sonic Forces by now, which is super, like, it's funny and sad at the same time. And we've, we haven't even restored the first continent, or the first piece of the planet in this game, like, ob like obviously, I'm playing two versions, so, ob so, um, that's gonna be a bit skewed, but, even then, like, why, why is it that, that game have to be so disappointing? Ah, that game just makes me sad. I need to stop. I I need to stop talking about it. I don't know why I keep bringing it up. I'm sorry. Think positive. This is a game I like. I need to stop thinking about games I don't like. Goodness. Yeah, just exploring a little bit. And some meadows. Um, nothing else. I know the stage is there, I just want to make sure there's nothing else. Okay, I think I think we're good. Uh, well, wait, uh, dab, dab, I can talk. Yeah, okay, we, we don't know how to wall jump yet. Act 1, Savannah Citadel. Again, absent in the Wii version, and this is one of my favourite stages in the in the game. So, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate, but I... Oh, man. <laughs> Here we go. So, again, just the general colouring light and lighting and whatnot. It's beautiful here. I, I love the, the sand textures and, like, the background. You see, like, giraffes, elephants, and there's just general, like, architecture and whatnot. Um, the music, as you'll hear in a minute here. It's based on the, based off of the Master System credits theme from Sonic 1, um, which is really cool. Like, I, I didn't know that for the longest time, but we're, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I guess we're missing that medal. Um, I didn't know that for the longest time, but that's freaking genius, and um, it's um, I love this theme so much. It works with the with the um, continent really well. It's again fast paced as you as you uh, expect like son regular Sonic stages to be, and man, really, it's great stuff all around. Some good platforming elements. Or like platforming parts, um, wall, wall, uh, wall running sections, and one thing that's good to know is that um, your b the boost um, m magnetizes rings towards you, um, and it's like what is it? Um, the way the radius of it is basically like um, you go. You're in a quick step section, right? And you um, go through through the middle. If you boost, you'll get the rings on your on your sides. So it's a pretty pretty big radius overall, and it does help if you need some rings for like a better rank or what have you. Um, 
good to keep in mind. Let me just get this metal. Okay. Now I know a lot of people. I know there are a lot of people that uh, don't like the um, quick time event system, and um, I can't really say I understand why, um, because this game uh, encourages quick reaction times, and the and you're pressing a bunch of buttons just playing through the stages normally, and I feel like it, they're just kind of an extension on that, and. The fact that they reward you with extra points, um, a higher route sometimes, uh, and other such um, goodies, I I don't know, I, I, I feel like they're really satisfying. They, it rewards your quick thinking, and the faster you do it, the more points you get, and yeah, I, I don't know, <laughs> what can I say, I, I like the quick time events. I did miss a lot of uh, items here, I, d I noticed, which, eh, it's kind of, a, kind of a shame, I guess, but whatever. But yeah, as soon as I exit here, it's gonna go right to the boss, so I will see you, uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna show the cutscene for this version, but I will see you for the um, Wii version's uh, version of the boss. Okay, so, yeah, um, I know this is a weird, um, what is it? I know this is a ha being handled a little bit weird, but I didn't know that the game was going to force me into, into Missouri for the HD version, so, yeah, we'll just make do. But yeah, now that the place is popular, we can talk to some people. I still don't get why, um, it was deserted early. There's like, there was no like, real reason for it, it's just, I, I don't have a comment towards it, it, it just, it just is. <laughs> but, yeah, you just immediately get the star tablet for the boss. And just check in to make sure that uh, there's no music uh, CDs. I see. Guess. What's up? Did you say anything else? Nope. Okay. Okay. Sacred Shrine. Okay, let's see if there are any extra rooms we can uh, go into. No? Really? Uh-huh. Okay, I, I honestly thought we were going to get more... Um, okay, how, how much do we need? We, we're getting no with that one. Um, what about these? Looks like this door yeah, yeah. Oh god, wow. <laughs> Let's find some more! Yeah, no, we're not getting that one for a while. And yeah, if we go back here... Hey, Sonic! Try getting closer to that glowing spot! Yeah, this is gonna warm me. I don't know if I'll... Screw it, I'll show it off. Yeah, so, um, you can, uh, walk between different guy gates, which is kind of cool, it's convenient. Wow, we just warped all the way to a whole different Gaia gate. Yep, we sure did, and that's it, that's all she wrote. Uh, oh man. it looks so weird when there's just one door. That door's glowing, Sonic. Yeah, like, th this whole area, is j there's just nothing here. Like, no matter what you do, it's just always going to be a, just a, a uh, blank wall. 
This thing in the middle is cool though. Like some hourglass thing. Makes me think of something out of old Tomb Raider for some reason. Anyways though, boss time. Let's do it. Everyone's, everyone's made fun of that line at this point, but this, what the hell, man. Behold, my new power, Egg Beetle, go! Alright, so we got our first boss um, of the game. And yeah, um this is a this is a pretty good um, first boss. Uh, it's not too difficult. It makes you die. <laughs> yeah, I'm good at this game, I swear. Um, and yeah, you just bash into him and and boost into him when he's um, uh, flapping about on the floor. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not too crazy. Um, you avoid his bombs and whatnot. And yeah, occasionally he'll go into 2D and shoot missiles and whatnot at you. So I'd say it's definitely a pretty good first Sonic boss. Um, I'd say the bosses in this game in, in general are fairly, fairly solid. They aren't like amazing, but in terms, of, uh, I'd say um, for Sonic standards, these are probably some of the better bosses in the franchise. Um, so it has that going for it. And oh, okay, that's it. And I'll just be stuck in this pose. <laughs> So yeah, fairly easy. Um, Same as ever, all bark and no bite. But it, it, again, it, it is a pretty decent first boss. So. All right, and now we're with the Wii. Oh, Wii version. <laughs> this is the greatest Wii game I've ever seen. What the hell? <laughs> no, this is the HD version of this boss, and. Oh, okay. This is definitely a lot more fast-paced than the uh, the Wii versions, and I think I may have said in the past that the Wii version uh, did a better job with the bosses. I'm gonna I I'm gonna dis um, disagree with my past self with that because um, with this boss specifically, like like you're, we're pretty much doing like similar things to the Wii version where we avoid like missiles, bombs, and whatnot. Um, but we're just doing it at a much faster pace, um, because I, yeah, you can smack him about and it, it, um, yeah, I'm going to have to do another loop just to get a, the last medal, um, but, yeah, we, you can smack him around in both versions, so I, yeah, I, I don't know why, but I think I just said this to friends, I don't know if I've ever, I've ever said this, like, on, like, on camera before. Okay, there we go. Um, but, yeah, the, yeah, the, the day bosses in general I think are better in the, in this version. There's more stuff to avoid, it's faster paced, uh, it's more difficult overall, and it's just generally more exhilarating. Um, but there's more stuff going on, and, yeah, it's, it's a good challenge overall. Like, for a first boss, this is actually a pretty good challenge. Um, uh, he, he has he has a lot more moves than the Wii version, that's for sure. <laughs> um, and, yeah. 
Like, look how fast we go when we're in 2D. Like, what the hell is this? Well, the fact that I've dodged, like, almost all your attacks, probably. <laughs> yeah, this is basically just a more engaging version of what we just played on the Wii. And, um, yeah. For sure, it's a, it, it's a good mix of uh, speed, just, uh, just general, like, speeding through the area. And it's also just crazy fast-paced. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty much repeating myself over and over, but like, basically, I'm failing right now. I'm not usually this bad, but um, okay, you should be done now. Yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah, I, 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 I do, I do like that they don't pull any punches. Like they, the first, first boss of the game. And they chuck all that, all that at you without, <laughs> without any mercy. And yeah, it's expected. And you expect you f for any like other Sonic games, you'd probably expect that to be like boss free or something. I don't know. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of, I kind of like that they start off no holds barred. Because th th this game, this version, the, uh, the HD version specifically, isn't afraid to challenge you every now and then, and I appreciate that. Uh, now, in contrast, the Wii version, Wii versions, uh, bosses are fairly easy, <laughs> usually, but, yeah. <laughs> uh. I'm finding the Wii version being a bit more um, beginner friendly because you have because it's like um, you have this version which is more which feels like it's more it's built more for the hardcore Sonic fan in mind, whereas the the Wii version is much easier for casual players to get to get into. Because um, I feel like I feel like Unleashed Wii is probably one of the one of the best Sonic games for a newcomer to get into, just in terms of pure um, accessibility, because it doesn't really ask too much from the player. Um, huh? What's that? But yeah, that's just how I feel. I mean, you can you can argue about how much you'd enjoy it for a first Sonic game, but yeah, I feel like that's a separate. That's a separate separate argument entirely. You could you could be at that kind of debate for hours, like saying what would be the best first game to play. And I don't really know if there's really a good answer for that. So as much as I love the adventure games, they uh, they have definitely aged, and someone playing them for the first time probably won't be so kind to a lot a lot of the faults. Um, the classic games, while being beloved, aren't exactly beginner friendly. Um, and a lot of the boost game with the boost games, um, in with the exception of the Wii version of, of Unleashed, um, they give you a bunch of control options right off the bat. And it, I'd imagine it'll be a bit too overwhelming for a new player. It's hard to know for sure without doing like an actual like survey or <laughs> asking around or whatever, but I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's hard to say what would be a good first Sonic game. Maybe if you guys have any ideas on that, you'll post it in the comments. <laughs> If you, if you guys um, care enough to uh, put your two cents in, I would be curious to know. Okay, so now we basically just have a um, bunch of side uh, content to do. Um, yeah. 
Wow! Okay, yeah. So, oh, okay. So yeah, now we can just switch to day and night on the, in the towns whenever we want, which is really convenient if you want to uh, have, if you want to get like certain medals um, and have certain like get certain town missions or what have you. It's it's a nice thing to have. Okay, now we gotta get, uh, give that to the little girl when we go back. Yeah, working on it. <laughs> okay, so let's get the get the items. Surprised how quickly I'm um, like using up my rings here. <laughs> That's a decent amount of experience, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think. Um, Giving it to Chip, not like with after you reach a certain threshold, like an invisible threshold or something. I think you'll. Uh, what is it? Um, you you'll get like you you have like invisible uh, friendship points with Chip, and um, I think after you feed him enough. Of uh, three specific continents, like special food, um, you'll get like secret CG cutscenes with Chip, which are pretty nice. I don't know how you saw that from down there, but okay. Okay. I'm gonna see what the other things are. Okay, yeah, you you, I think you just keep saying that. Okay. Oh, okay, there's this. Brenda, you just you see you see Brenda constantly through uh, the game, and she'll just ask a bunch of random questions. Just a little side thing. Hi! Okay, okay, the, so you got Wentos here. I wasn't expecting him to show up so early, but yeah, he'll just randomly appear in hub, the uh, village hubs. Um, I don't know if there's like a set pattern to how he works, but he'll basically appear in a hub um, and you'll talk to him a few times. Like, yeah. Hey there. Bing! 
<laughs> so yeah, he's gone. But yeah, he'll randomly show up um, in these village hubs. Um, and after you talk to him a few times, um, he'll actually open a, a shop. So. It's kind of a cool little um, Easter egg, I guess. Okay, so this guy. I can't actually do any of these for some reason. I, I didn't know I had to pay. What, what, was the, what was the fee? I, oh, oh, 10 rings I saw on the side. Okay, fair enough. But basically what this is, is you get hot dog missions for the stage. You just go for the stage like normal, but I don't want to do your stupid hot dog missions. <laughs> uh, and there's um, there's ring attack, there's like, you get enough rings, um, there's time, like, time trials, and kill a bunch of enemies. Um, my, I don't mind it on paper, my problem is that there's three difficulties for all three, all three of those, and where, where's the point? Oh, okay, we don't we have two hours to go to now. Uh, one thing I like that is exclusive to this version, I believe, is that you can clearly tell where you what you need to go because of the glow, the glowing markers. Um, so that's nice. But yeah, we're going back to Abitur, sir. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the hot dog missions. Uh, what's annoying is that yeah, again, you have you have the you have the free. Uh, oh, I, I'm sorry, but I I love the look of this place so much. Um, um, what is it? You have the free you have the free things, and then and then you also have. Um, uh, Three uh, difficulties of each of these, um, and it just takes forever to be in all of these. Like you have to um, basically play through the entire stage every time, which is really dumb. I don't I don't know why it can't be um, kill the amount of the these amount of enemies and then it just does level clear. I don't know why it forces you to do the whole stage. It just takes forever. That is one thing I will say that I don't like about this game is the hot dog missions. Like they really could have done that better, but thankfully you only had to do that do that for achievements and for special chili dogs that give you like what 70 XP or whatever, which is the highest amount you can get from an item. But again, you get enough you get enough experience from chili dogs like normal chili dogs anyway. So it's not really like you're missing out on much. Um, I wouldn't really recommend doing the hot dog missions unless you're you really want those achievements, or um, you, I, I don't even know. <laughs> you can do it if you want, but I it's kind of a waste of time, honestly. See if there's anything else of worth around her. Okay. Alright, yeah, no, no, let's just. Let's just go. 